as I swallow the bubble gum. Oh, and these seven years will be pretty dumb. Pink flowers grow from my skin. What's up, you guys? It's Tiana. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. I'm Kiana. I'm a junior in college and I'm studying communications and minoring in nutrition. Today's video is just going to be a little day in my life, college day in my life. Um, for my first week of college with online, you already know. It, raining out right now I can hear it so it's it just feels very gloomy right now um I think the rest of the day is honestly gonna be a rainy day but this morning I woke up walked my dog and then me and Shane went to a park that we've been loving to go to and we go on like three four mile walk around the park with with my dog and she loves it and so we just have been liking going there and getting some movement in in the morning. And luckily it was like nice out when we went, it didn't rain. But now I got back showered and it's 12 now. And I just made this smoothie, it's like a chocolate protein smoothie. I usually like making my um, morning smoothie with like blueberries and bananas. But when I'm out of frozen blueberries, I just use um, banana, ice, almond milk, cacao powder, and make that one. But now I have an extensive to-do list. I'm taking five classes this semester, which is, I think, the lowest or the smallest amount of credits I've taken since I've been in college, but since I've never done 100% online, except for the end of last semester, I wanted to ease into it. So I'm only taking five right now and they're all online. I have no in-person classes and I have one class that is on Zoom. All the rest are asynchronous so you just watch like pre-recorded videos and maybe sometimes for some classes you have to write discussion board posts. So yeah, I just went through all of my syllabi and my way, first of all, I feel like I really need a paper planner for this year. I almost never religiously use a paper planner for the entire year. I'll do, do it for like a couple months, couple weeks, but then I fall off. But I feel like with this, it's just, it's just gonna be harder to stay on top of, um, unless you like log in and check every single day, like your syllabi. So, I brought this journal with me that I got from like Marshalls like years ago, never used. And this was like the one thing of paper that I brought because I didn't bring notebooks because I write my notes on my iPad. So thank God I brought this. And what I decided to do, which I think is gonna be helpful, is for each week, you can see here, this is for the week of August 31st through September 6th, I went through every class that I have and wrote down the lectures I have to watch and any assignments that are due this week because most of my classes are things I do on a weekly basis. There's like one class that the class is on Zoom that it's kind of like a normal class where it's like you have a reading that should be done by the day of class but everything else it's due like everything's due Sunday Sunday at midnight something like that 
So I think I'm gonna start doing just master weekly to-do lists with all my assignments for the week and I'll progressively just check them off, check them off in order of like, or like whichever one is most urgent. So yeah, I just basically need to write everything down in a way that I could just see everything in front of me on one page rather than like have it up in the air in my head what I have to do for each class because I'm just not going to remember that. So that's how I'm staying organized this semester as of right now. Even if I get a paper planner, I feel like it's going to be that way. I'm going to write everything down like that. But now I basically have the next couple hours to tackle, start tackling this to-do list because it's Wednesday and classes start on Monday and I feel like I'm already behind. <laughs> I'm going to start tackling this to-do list for the next couple hours. Probably going to consist of me just watching lecture videos and taking notes on them on my iPad. Let me know if you want to see a video of how I take notes on my iPad. And then after Shane gets out of his last class of the day, we are going grocery shopping for the week because today is just that day of the week. And I think I would probably show you a little grocery haul. Hey guys, so it's like 4 12 now and i just walked my dog kai and because she's been like napping literally all day because she gets so tired <laughs> from her walks but it's good because then she's sleeping well i'm like working all day so i spent like four hours watching lectures and taking notes and the sun finally came out which is great um because it was rainy all afternoon but now shane and i are gonna go to trader joe's and target and get our groceries for the week so that's be a nice little break and then i'm probably gonna make dinner after that i'm gonna try to do a quick grocery haul while i finally unpack everything that we got we went to trader joe's and target those are like our usual go-to's and we usually find everything that we need there and yeah this week we spent like about 60 maybe 65 dollars on groceries total which is great um i'm like always trying to spend less and less every week on certain things and i'm trying to like be very budget friendly with my groceries and go like only once a week and so on and so forth and like use up everything that i have and from last week we did have some like overflow of groceries and i've slowly been like accumulating already all the spices that i need and stuff so i didn't need to buy like salt and pepper and stuff like that so yeah this week we only spent 65 dollars and we split our groceries right down the middle shane and i and which is like $35 a person or $30 a person for a week of groceries, which is really good in my opinion. And yeah, so I'll just show you what we got. I'm gonna start with Trader Joe's. Can't get like good lighting in here, hold on. Okay, so that's kind of better lighting. I literally just had to like put the flash on to my iPhone to try to get some good lighting from this angle. Cause like, there's light coming from behind me, so that messes everything up. But Trader Joe's. So for our bread, our choice of bread this week <laughs> is rye. So last week we got sourdough, but we like rye too. So we got this rye from Trader Joe's. I haven't had Trader Joe's rye bread but i do like rye bread in general so hopefully this is good i really like it with like just vegan butter like to make toast with in the morning and we still have a little bit of sourdough left from last week my biggest tip is freezing your bread i freeze my bread literally till the day that i use it 
and then I will like chop off a frozen piece of bread and throw it like in the oven or toaster and that way it literally just doesn't go bad um, literally always keep my bread in the fridge or freezer I just it just stays so much like stays fresher longer that way then we had a thing of bananas because we actually used up all our bananas because we make a lot of smoothies so we use like a banana every day okay then we got this rainbow wrap this is one of like my favorite things from trader joe's like pre-made things and shane really likes it too these are are really really good next i got some avocados and we got a thing of pasta. I got the same thing as spaghetti last week and we used it for a spaghetti and meatball night one day. And then the following day we both had like lunch and dinner because it was just, we had leftovers. And then I got this big can of whole peeled tomatoes. I make my own marinara sauce and I use this. So that's why I got that. Then two hummuses, uh, these are for Shane. He loves hummus. I'm not the biggest fan of hummus, to be honest, but he loves to snack on this with like crackers. All right, I need to put like this in the freezer because it's like all melting. But I got two bags of frozen blueberries. Me and Shane have been really into blueberry smoothies so yeah, we use those pretty much every day. Frozen Brussels sprouts. I love this roasting Brussels sprouts in the oven for dinner. And I've been having these pretty often. Then we got two of these Turkulous protein patties from Trader Joe's. Basically vegan turkey burgers. Um, we tried these last week and they were honestly so good. I might even like them better than the Beyond Burgers, but yeah. So we have two of these. Then I got, oh, now we're moving on to Target. Next I got these pretzel buns. Shane loves having burgers on these. Then Shane got this coffee that he's been liking, which is the Calipia Cold Brew. This is the XX Espresso with almond milk. I think it's a little salty in my opinion, but he likes it. Um, you know, some people like that salted coffee flavor. I personally don't, and I really don't drink coffee that often anymore. I have my matcha that I got, so I'll be having that. Next, I got these Gardein meatballs, literally a staple in my fridge. We love Gardein in this household. And I got the meatballs to make with the spaghetti and meatballs that we had. I made that like meal last week and it was really good. And there was tons of leftovers, as I said. So I'll probably be making that again sometime this week. Then I just got a unsweetened vanilla almond milk for smoothies and whatever else. I got some dog food for my dog. And I got one little big sweet potato. I got one because I already have a pack in my pantry, so I just got, got one because I saw it and just to be safe in case we have a lot of sweet potato this week. But, I often, pretty often, like make sweet potato fries like from scratch and we'll roast it in the oven. So that is a staple that I just like to have on hand. That's pretty much it. I have my basil plant in the background. If anyone knows how to save a basil plant, please let a girl know. I'm really trying to, you know, grow it and make it thrive. But one day I think it drowned and it hasn't been so happy since. So. Yeah, I only, I mean, it's really cloudy and gloomy out and the sun is setting, it's like seven, yeah, it's 6.45. So I brought it in and like closed the window, but during the day I'll like open the window and put it in the window to try to, you know, lift it up a little bit. But 
it's like struggling a little bit but anyways that's a little grocery haul i think i'm gonna end the vlog here honestly because there was like i did a lot of talking in this one and i think that there's a lot of content Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos from me. We'll likely be posting once a week at least. And yeah, so expect that. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.